We live on one of the richest continents in the world. Some people are earning more than they ever dreamed possible. Affluence is preached and coveted. But statistics show that there are still a large percentage of the population who are the working poor. Recently, Michelle Williamson was talking to Oprah and said that the USA has the second highest child poverty rate, second only to Romania. That means one in five children are being raised in poverty and single parents make up a large percentage. I wanted to do something for single parents having been one myself and I just want to be the help that I want to see in the world. Everyone has a story. Grace's dad walked over to eight days old. The day to day getting up, trying to get everything done and that doesn't usually happen. You don't usually get everything done in your, that you have planned in your mind. When your needs are always at the bottom of Maslow's hierarchy, it's discouraging in reality, but people need hope that they can do something to make it better. When someone becomes a single parent, just getting back on their feet can feel like it will take forever. I'm on the list for housing, so, but the wait's supposed to be five years. So who knows? I'm just hoping it works out better here. Everything can change. Everyone can make a difference. So I just wanted to take a family and buy the groceries I wish we would have had when we were going through that. And so asking around, um, the Rotary donated some money, uh, local business, Call to View, um, donated some money. We're able to provide groceries for three families and just hopefully give them a little glimpse of hope and let them know that help is out there and that they're not alone and things will get better. Money can't buy love, but the lack of money creates so much stress, often love isn't free to flow. Being around, not missing anything. That's, that's the big priority right now because you only have so much time until they're off on their own. And yeah, trying to make them into good little people. Thank you, I've got a few things oh, for you. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> this single mom is just in her last few months of school. She has worked part-time, gone to school full-time, and struggled to juggle life. Like, I'm taking two courses at the U of C, and I feel like a dork <laughs> with all these 18-year-olds, but it's like, I don't care. Yeah. Like, like uh, I just want to get my degree and and start something better. When she finishes and has her degree, hopefully she can find a better job and begin to pay back her student loans. By the time her daughter is in university, maybe she will be done paying. But for now, she just takes one day at a time. I'm looking forward to not um, trying to balance so many things at once, like doing school, working, and, and raising a child. I'm looking forward just to be able to work and come home and just be with my child and not worry about um, school. One mom I have been coaching has been divorced for several years and is still trying to get back out of the hole and onto solid ground. She works a full-time job Monday to Friday, a part-time job on the weekends, and an extra job one evening a week. It doesn't leave a lot of time for family or anything else. Actually, I want to give you something um, to help you a little bit over the holidays or whatever because I know you've almost got one of your debts paid off. And so I want to give you um, just a couple gift cards. Oh my God! You can't tell who struggles behind closed doors. Everyone who needs help doesn't wear a sign on their shoulder, but they carry the weight on their shoulders. If we can lift some of the weight off just long enough so they can find a way to move forward, that's all I can hope to do. This mom welcomed her son into the world three years ago. And while they were in the hospital, the dad drove her car to get some food afterwards and got into a minor car fender bender. She has never had the extra money to get the door fixed. And every time something else happens, she can't afford to pay the money to get things fixed. $500 here, $200 there. It just isn't in the budget. So she just has to make do. We are better together. If we can lift some of the weight off, 
just long enough so they can find a way to move forward. That's all I can hope to do. I challenge everyone to get to know the people around you. Reach out and give them the help you have. Reach out and ask for the help you need. We are better together and we can become the village.